Hey. Narrator here. After months, finally the fourth episode. And this one is quite a short one, said Lee. But the next episode will be longer, I promise. Good morning, prison. Well, I got some new clothes, so that's good. The police officer isn't back yet. Well, I might as well go look around the prison a bit. Many jail cells or rooms as they call them now. And what's that room over there? Oh, it's an infirmary. Maybe where they will test us if we have the virus or not. And of course a Coke machine. It's free, so might as well get one. Police officer James told me never to go upstairs, but what could be up there? Eh, we may never know. Wow, even a whole gym in here, might come here every day to work out. Hum, actually I'm quite hungry, even though they start serving at 5, let me go check what they have. Hello, cook, where did he go? Oh sorry kid, was just preparing a meal in the kitchen, anyways what are you here for? I'm just checking what's there for lunch. I hope it's something good. It's just the usual. Some toast, mashed potatoes, carrots and some grains. You want it right now. No thanks sir, I'll just eat at 5. You know what, I'm going to look around the upper rooms. Wow pretty cool wish I had an upper room. What was that? I feel very weird. Am I infected? Am I cursed? No, please no. I have to tell police officer James about this. I'll just wait for him in my room, I guess. Ooh. Didn't even find anyone out there. Now, where's that kid I saved? This stairs always in my gutting way. Hey kid, how are you? Why do you look traumatized? Did you come across something? Actually yes, I was just exploring the upper rooms and I fell down and my sight was very blurry and fuzzy. Am I infected? Is there a doctor here? Please help me sir. We do have a doctor, so come quick with me, kid, to the infirmary. Okay, kid, just lay down on that bed and I'll bring the doctor. Sure, hopefully it's nothing to bad. Hey, kid, heard what happened. I'll just do a quick checkup on you and everything will be fine. Now breathe in and breathe out. Sir, why do you look so down today? You're the most happiest person I know. 
Well, you know the kid we saved. He is kind of sick. I'm just worried. I see. Did he get the same disease as your son did? Matthew, do me a favor and never talk about my son ever again. It just saddens me even more.